This is a drawing of a simple crystal radio. There's not much to it. Got a coil. Got two slides. Have a diode of some kind, usually a Galena, and a capacitor and headphones, and of course a ground. And here is an early crystal radio and it has two slides and the Galena is on the right. It has been wired around with a germanium diode. Probably works uh, probably a little bit better. And here on one end you can see H and M. I searched for that and actually found one on eBay. Actually, this model. Here's what the bottom looks like. Very simple wiring. And there's a good shot of the capacitor. Dot zero zero one microfarads. Now we found some loose connections on this, but we did get it working. And during the day, the only thing we could pick up was, uh, this is out in the country, lots of farms around. The only thing we could pick up was uh, the electric fence of the neighbor. And uh, I'm sure that uh, Chuck will be able to pick up some stations at night. And I'm glad that we got this working because this set is probably a hundred years old. It may not be quite that old, but uh, there, there's a good chance. And while I was there, I thought I'd take a picture of several other radios that Chuck is working on. And here is a 1920s radio. It's got some Aut 1As in it. Here's the front. And here's a nice three dialer. Looks similar to a freshman masterpiece. Here's the front of that three dialer. And here's a closer look at the name of that radio. And it's a typical three dialer. You notice that the dials run from zero to a hundred. They didn't have frequencies on the dials back then. Now here's a nice radio that he recently restored. Nice clock radio, tombstone, kind of a tombstone. Here's the back of the radio. And there's a nice zenith Three dialer, three dialer, <laughs> I've got that on my mind. Uh, shutter dial, <laughs> uh, very nice. And above that is the Bullhorn RCA. And some more radios here that he has repaired and all these are working. Another boat, sailboat radio. Some smaller radios, you can see three refrigerator-like radios behind those two front ones. A radio lamp. A piano radio and a keg radio. And the Crosley grandfather clock radio. Very nice. And here as uh, we went back into the kitchen where we were working, he points out this radio. Uh, notice the curve on the bottom. That curve fit a refrigerator exactly. So it would, this was uh, designed to sit on top of a refrigerator. I'm glad we got Chuck's crystal set working. And uh, 
Chuck has some very fine radios, and he's got several projects uh, ongoing. So, thank you all for watching. I do appreciate it.